This is part two of the video tutorial Introduction to Chartco One Ocean. In this video, we'll take a look at the One Ocean map and how to find information within the application. Although you may have access to many different modules within One Ocean, you'll find that many of the modules have a similar look and feel. Let's take a look at the Ports module as an example. Many modules display the items they manage in the form of a list on the left of the window and if they relate to a geographical position, also on a map on the right of the window. So of course in this module we're looking at a list of ports, and the anchor icons mark their position on the map. If you need to, you can adjust the position of the border between these two areas. You can move the map by dragging it with your mouse, or using these icons at the top right. To zoom in or out of the map, Point your mouse at the position of interest and then roll the mouse wheel forwards or backwards. Or use the buttons above and below the scale setting. Most modules also have a search or filter panel above the item list. You can use this to search for a specific item or items of a similar type. So in the case of the ports module, I can search for a specific port. Or limit the list to ports that offer a particular facility. You can select items in the list, or using the map. Let's compare that with another module. We'll take a look at the ENC module, where we can manage the electronic nautical charts in our outfit. Much like the ports module, we have a panel for filtering the ENCs we can see, which are displayed both in the form of a list below the filter panel, and on the map by these shaded areas representing the areas the charts cover. Because in this module we're dealing with products that you can add to your outfit, we also have two important tabs above the filter panel that allow you to switch between viewing all ENCs available to buy from your supplier's full catalogue and the ENCs that are available in your outfit. Like the port module, you can select items in the list or on the map. And in this module, you can also use the list to select multiple items by holding down the shift key or the control key, or you can select all the listed items by clicking this box here. In many OneOcean modules, you can double click an item to open a panel on the right that gives further information about it. As with many other OneOcean modules, in the filter panel, we have a filter by map option. When I have this turned off, I currently see a list of all the ENCs in my outfit. When I have it turned on, only ENCs that are visible on the map are listed. Some modules also have a very useful filter by route option. If you have a passage loaded in the routes and passages module, this allows you to limit the items listed and displayed on the map to the ones that are relevant to your loaded route. We'll come back to this feature when we take a look at the routes and passages module in the next video in this tutorial. There are buttons at the bottom of the window for the main actions you may need to perform in the module, and these change depending on what you've selected. So for example, when I have items selected in the ENC catalogue, there's a button available for me to add these to my shopping basket. Let's take a look at another module that uses the One Ocean map, Nav Area Warnings. On the map, we're currently looking at in-force warnings represented by these triangles. The position of the map is common in each module that uses it, so we can easily switch between modules using these shortcuts. In this case, to switch between viewing ports and nav area warnings in the same area. However, at the bottom left of the map, we have options for overlaying the map with items from other modules. So that, for example, I can view nav area warnings and ports on the map at the same time. If you have a valid permit specifically licensed for One Ocean, you can view ENC data and AIO information on the map. To view ENC data, make sure that these options are selected. You may also need to zoom in and wait a few seconds before the data is displayed on the map. If you want to learn more about using and customising the ENC data that appears on the map, there's a separate video tutorial available on this topic. That's the end of this part of the tutorial. In part three, we'll focus on the routes and passages module.